We've allowed the, the connector to cure overnight, and now we're ready for the polishing procedure. Before we can actually polish, though, we have to remove the stub of glass that protrudes from the face of the connector. For that, we're going to use the sapphire-tipped cleaving tool, which has a wedged sapphire tip at a 60-degree angle, and it's fairly sharp, so be careful with that right there. And the proper way to use this sapphire tool is to give a very, very light touch hold to it. Notice that I can just easily push that away through my fingers. I'm not holding it with any pressure whatsoever. I cup my hands together and I give it one, two, three scratches. And that's plenty. The proper way to remove the stub of glass Again, I cup my hands and I grab it with my thumb and forefinger and I pull up and away from the scribe. Where I scribed on this side, I pull up and away in that direction. So again, it's up and away and see how easily that comes off. We remove that and we throw it into our fiber trash bin which has been provided in your kit for you. And we're ready for the polishing or the last procedure. Be careful yet. There's still a little bit of glass protruding, which must be deburred down, which we'll show in the next segment. We're at the final stage of our assembly, which is the polishing stage. And for the tools that we need here, we see we have the glass polishing plate, smooth and clean. We have our polishing puck. We have our connector assembly. We have three different grades of lapping film. We have the pink or salmon colored lapping film which is a 12 micron, and that's used for deburring that little stub of glass that's still left over from the scribing process. We have the yellow or 3 micron lapping film, and that is our pre-polished stage. And we have a white 3 tenths micron lapping film, which is our final polish, which puts the uh, clean shine on the end of the glass. Now, what you've noticed, I've already got one set of lapping films on the glass already. And what I'm going to do so I'm going to take these and I'm going to put a second sheet of lapping film over the original. Notice that I overlapped them, but not exactly. And that so makes it easy to remove them while leaving the bottom layer on permanently. This adds a layer of cushioning to the surface of the connector as it's being polished. This is a rounded or PC'd, hemisphered uh, surface, and the cushion surface helps retain that rounded or PC'd finish. So we lay one on top of the other, like so. Good. Now take your connector as so, and your 12 micron lapping film, and I hold it away from my hand where it's nice and soft and flexible. And I proceed to rub back and forth. And that's going to take about 20 seconds. You'll notice a change in the sound. When the glass is gone, it gets a little quieter. See that? Now maybe I'll just take it once real close to my hand, just give it a nice flush, smooth surface, which it is. But if you notice, there's still some adhesive left. I'm not removing all the adhesive from the face of the connector. There's a thin, thin blue layer remaining. And that's because we have to have something to polish away. The polishing tool, like so. Don't lay it on the glass. That's not the proper way to insert the connector into the polishing tool. You might plop it down and shatter the glass. The proper way to insert the connector in is to lay it in like so, nice and easy. Lay it down on the glass gently. Make sure that's nice and flat. The proper polishing procedure, take very light pressure. You don't want to give it too much because we don't want to grind through too fast. What you're going to do is use the coupling nut of the plate and with very, very light pressure, see I'm really not even pressing down, make about four or five figure eights. 
you'll actually feel a uh, smoothening of the surface when the adhesive layer is all gone. You take a quick peek and you'll notice that uh, all the adhesive is gone. If the adhesive is still there, go again one or two figure eights. That will remove the rest of the adhesive layer. As soon as the adhesive layer is gone, do not go any further. You don't want to achieve what's called an over polish condition. We go to the white 3 tenths lapping film. And again, almost no pressure whatsoever. One, two, three, that's enough. Remove the connector from the tool. Take a clean, fresh Kim wipe. Wipe the sides of the ferrule. Cushion the Kim wipe between your finger and the ferrule face. Give a small twist. Make sure any last little debris is, is missing. Take a visual look and make sure that it's completely clean. If you see anything at all on the face of the connector, you might want to go back and try washing it with an alcohol pad. That will wash any large debris off.